All right, guys, here we are uh, for round one of our modern eight man with Jund. We are on the play, which is right where we want to be. And we have one land, double thought seize, Liliana, Tarmogoyf. Now, I don't know. Keeping, keeping the one landers is a whole lot easier when you are playing a deck with eight cantrips and it's easy to find your second land here. Um, I think we're great if, you know, there's a land on top of our deck and we're able to go thought seize into Tarmogoyf. Um, but I think this is, I think this is a mulligan. I don't know. Other players would keep this, maybe. Um, I think I could see, I could definitely see keeping it on the draw. But on the play, I, I think one landers isn't going to get us there. Too risky. Here we have uh, two lands, Inquisition, Abrupt Decay, Terminate, Abbott. Um, this hand is fine. Our opponent kept us seven. All right, so we're playing against uh, Double Dispel, Lightning Bolt, Remand, Cryptic Command, Island Scalding Tarn. This looks like a uh, twin to me. Um, and I think we take the Remand here. <clears throat> so this is good for us. Our opponent doesn't have any combo pieces in hand. The spells that we don't really care about right now. Um, it's He's got pretty much just a Lightning Bolt. Um, the Cryptic Command will come into play. Uh, at some point, but with only two lands and no Serum Visions or anything, um, he's really at the mercy of the top of his deck and seems to be all right for us. So a Liliana here would be great. Um, I feel like I want to play this Abbott when I can hit a two drop off of it. So like right now, if we play Abbott, um, basically, any land and any one drop is a hit, but if we wait a turn and play Abbott on turn four, then that turns on all of our two drops as hits. So like Dark Confidant, Tarmogoyf, Scavenging Use, things like that. Um, it really ups our percentage. So I think we want to wait a turn. It's really important that we hit something good off of this Abbott because it's going to trade with a Lightning Bolt and then at that point we kind of have nothing going on. We are giving our opponent, I guess, time to find like another remand, but I'm not really that worried about it. If he's shocked here, um, I'm also not interested in playing around like him finding a Deceiver plus Splinter Twin in like how many draws did he have? Three draws. I guess it's possible that he could hit it, but I think even if he like shocked the Sama Ground and passed, I would still play Abbott on my turn. Um, so I think we are going to fetch green something. I think green, red. And then Bloodstained Mire can fetch another basic swamp if we want. Oh, I thought we were on his end step. I don't think it matters though. There's a Tarmogoyf. Hmm. Yeah, we'll start with Abbott. Even if you found, uh, I mean, I guess if you found our Remand, we just like play the Tarmogoyf and then save Abbott for next turn. Lightning Bolt. This Lightning Bolt's just gonna trade with a Dispel in his hand. I feel like it's a lot more important to just get Tarmogoyf out. He has a bolt. Yeah, I think we just play Tarmogoyf. I think Lightning Bolt is, besides our three drops, Lightning Bolt is one of the only things we didn't really want to see there. Just because it's not really a strong card in the matchup. Um, and plus, like, we would have been fine with a free land. Um, but this Lightning Bolt, like, with the Tarmogoyf in hand, I guess without, like, the Tarmogoyf in hand, you know, we'd be fine with the Lightning Bolt. We just play our fetch, uh, end of his turn, put it into play tapped. Um, and, you know, just, like, get an Abbot of Carol Keep plus three free damage. Um, but we've got better things to be doing. 
which I guess is a good spot to be in. Like, if we didn't have anything else to do, we cast this lightning bolt, but we're still in trouble. Like, if we have nothing to do, but, you know, just main phase lava spike him, we're kind of in a bad spot. Okay. So our opponent still has two dispels, a cryptic command, three random cards. So you just twisted image looking for a roast, I guess. Some way to handle this Tarmogoyf. Um, we're going to get this Confidant in under uh, Cryptic Command while we can. Yeah, I definitely, uh, I definitely tap my mana wrong. <laughs> Hopefully we don't die. Okay. Ugh. I don't know why. I don't know why I tapped Double Swamp. It was just wrong. Turned off these removal spells in hand. Um, doesn't play around remand. That was that was bad. But looks like we're okay for now. Play the wooded foothills. He's pausing on combat, so he definitely has like a Deceiver or a Pestermite, and he's just deciding whether he wants to use it or whether he can risk taking some damage to try and ambush the Confidant, because um, while he assumes we have removal spells in hand, um, but... Okay, so he's just thinking about Cryptic. Uh, tap and draw. I'm fine with that. So maybe he doesn't have a Deceiver. Um, he does have the two Dispels, but um, Deceiver doesn't really help him. I mean, he, I guess he can tap down this Charmagoy for a turn, but again, like he's got an Abrupt Decay to worry about. I guess I could have animated the Ravine. I probably should have. Sure. He's going to start tossing the spells, I guess, unless he's got a whole bunch of other trash. Yeah, it's just lots of land. Um, so still two dispels in his hand. Maybe a twin, hasn't found a deceiver yet. We should be okay. Missing those, uh, missing those three points earlier definitely hurt us because this would be lethal here. I think we just want to discard this forest, and I want to do this now. Yep, there goes the Splinter Twin. Our opponent's at two. Another Splinter Twin. And he's dead. Yeah, so that game, um, I don't know, we started off with a pretty bad hand, and um, 
our opponent had a relatively poor hand as well, and you just, you just got there. I don't know. I don't know what to say. We played Tarmogoyf, and Tarmogoyf did work. All right, so uh, bringing in another abrupt decay. Um, from here, he was just blue red, I believe. Um, I think we saw more than one stomping ground, so I guess that's possible he could be teamer. Um, but I don't think so. I think it's just blue red. Did we see more than one stomping ground? I don't remember. We definitely saw one. I don't remember if we saw two. Um, but other than this, I guess the pulses can go. It hits Jace, but it doesn't hit Karanos or anything. Um, we have Thoughtseize for that. I haven't played against Twin yet. Um, it's just it's um, it's interesting because um, he could stick to a combo or he could just try and control us. But controlling us is difficult just because I mean spell snares is best answer to Tarmogoyf. But if we're able to land one, um, especially with him not being Grixis and not having access to Terminates, um, Tarmogoyf puts on a pretty quick clock, and he has some difficulties handling it. And um, you know just our ability to play multiple abrupt decays makes it difficult for him to force through the combo so I would assume he's just going to try and control us but it's not like the Grixis control matchup where I'd be where I would be wanting to bring in things like Kitchen Fangs and Fulminator Mage I think he still might keep in some elements of the combo so I don't really want to be like tapping out on turn three um, I'm just trying to decide on Outpost Siege here I could see playing a couple Fulminator Mage just because if he's trying to get up to Karano's mana, um, Fulminator can just slow him down. I'm going to cut a bolt and I'm going to play two Fulminator. I'm going to see how that goes. I might just want all of my bolts and I just want to like, you know, use this extra slot for an outpost siege or a Cole Guns command or something. Um, like, you know, the second Cole Guns command because we're still playing one. I'll play it like this. This hand's fine. Four lands, Thought Seize, Ooze, Tassiger. I think up to this point, I've got probably about like 30 matches experience with Jund. Um, so not a lot, but... And Modern is a format where you really need to know, you know, how to sideboard. Um, I definitely see him playing Blood Moons or fetching basics. Thought sees one land, Lightning Bolt, Double Remand. Snapcaster, Spell Snare, Twisted Image. Huh. Well. I guess we take the Spell Snare. We hope he doesn't hit a second land. We play Ooze and then we play Confidant. Like the strongest card in his hand is Snapcaster Mage, but that means like Spell Snare can answer Confidant, Lightning Bolt can answer Ooze. And he needs to get to three mana before Snapcaster Mage is relevant and he doesn't have like a Serum Visions or anything to get him there. So I think we just take Spell Snare and I assume he just like fetches, shocks himself to 17, cycles the Twisted Image. I guess not. All right, he misses land. I definitely don't want an Inquisition here. Um, I just, I think I just want to play the ooze, let him bolt it. Uh, this forces him to fetch, which thins his deck a little bit and reduces his chances of drawing another land. And I can always play Inquisition on turn three alongside my Dark Confidant. I don't want to like waste this mana here. So I believe we just go, here we go, Twilight Mire Ooze. I don't think it matters because I don't anticipate myself ever like needing to play the Stomping Ground before the forest. Um, yeah, I think we play Twilight Mire.
Uzia. And we're playing Scavenging Goose first because Dark Confidant is the one that we want to keep around. Scavenging Goose is great against, uh, you know, a Snapcaster Mage and exiling cards out of his graveyard and becoming large, but we don't have any creatures in the yard and Confidant draws his cards. So I think it's pretty, pretty easy choice. All right. A roast, huh? Double Snapcaster. Yeah, we take the roast. This means Confidant. Unless he draws, he, he has two shots, uh, like his Twisted Image and then his Natural Draw to hit a Lightning Bolt. And if not, we get at least one card off of the Confidant. So we will take this roast. Fetch another Swamp? I don't think so. I think we do. Oh, he couldn't cycle this on his first turn because he has to have a target. That makes sense. That should have been clear to me before. It is now. It is now clear. Yeah, so we're, we're hitting the discard spells, which is exactly where we want to be. It's good news for us. Um, so he has a remand. He has multiple remands. Um, two remands, two Snapcaster Mage, and one card that we don't know about. And he hit a land, and then he's got his random draw. So he's going to remand our Tassiger, which is unfortunate. I guess we cast the Tassiger, let him remand it, and then cast Thoughtseize. I guess we go into combat first, see if he's gonna like try and ambush Viper this Confidant. That'll let us resolve the Tassiger, but he might do it just because like he needs to pull the trigger and if it like if we don't have a lightning bolt and his snapcaster mage gets a terminate out of our hand then you know it's probably okay like our opponents like not too upset about that um i think like there's a non-zero chance that he flushes in snapcaster there so we have to at least play it out um we could just save the tassiger but like if we tassiger and then like maybe just take his other remand um we just spend three mana on the Tassiger, Exile three, Thoughtseize. Yeah. Um, he has a land. I guess we'll leave a discard spell. Probably should have left Inquisition. This is gonna get remanded. And then we'll thought seize, maybe take his other remand if there's nothing better. Yeah, he's in a pretty good spot to draw out of this now because um, he can, like, you know, Snapcaster Bolt, my confidant. We get to play the Tassiger. Um, but then like once he hits another land, he's got another snapcaster for Rose to kill the Tassiger, so I think remand is what we take. I guess we could leave this remand stuck in his hand because he's gonna main phase snapcaster bolt, so we could just take a snapcaster. That might be better. He's gonna main phase snapcaster bolt to kill the confidant, which will allow us to land Tassiger, and then if we take a Snapcaster, that means he'll have to play out his last Snapcaster to roast it. I don't know. Could be wrong, but I kind of like doing that play. 
Too bad we don't have like a couple more cards in our graveyard so we can play Tassigar and get an activation out of it if he hits his fourth land. Wow, he's gonna give us the card. Interesting. All right, so play Meyer, go into combat. I mean, I'm fine with this. The more cards we're drawing uh, out of Confidant, the better. And play Goyf. Like he knows we have this Tassiger, so he has to keep that into account. Um, he has two Snapcaster and a Remand. All right, so he's going to Snapcaster Spell Snare this. That'll let us land the Tassiger on his. N if he hits his fourth land, he'll get to roast our Tassiger. I think we have to play it and just hope he doesn't hit the fourth land because um, we want to be able to play it underneath the Remand. The good news is, is this line means that we're still drawing cards with Confidant. So even though like it looks like uh, our twin opponent is running us out of answers, um, like we have onboard card advantage. That like the longer we you know keep like trading resources like this, um, the better it is for us. And I think I just main phase bolt this. Um, like if you go Snapcaster Roast, I don't want him to hit me to nine. Just because he doesn't have anything else going on, so the only way he's probably winning this game is by just grinding us out like that. Um, another red source seems fine. I don't want to play this yet. I don't want to bolt first. And leave a goif, I guess. Maybe scavenging is. All right. So if he hits his fourth land, Snapcaster Roast. If he doesn't, I think we're pretty far ahead. Um, yeah, and the lines branch out from there. All right. Hit a terminate. Yeah, so like us taking this extra damage from Confidant um, even like makes the main phase lightning bolt. Like there are a lot of reasons to main phase that lightning bolt there. We don't want him to be able to cast your man for a card because um, he is digging here. And uh, like when we're taking damage every turn from our Confidant, like, you know, two damage from a Snapcaster Mage will definitely matter at some point. Our opponent is at six. Um, I think we play four. I don't know. Like we play Raging Ravine. If we play Forest, that means we get to terminate and activate Tassiger. Um, if we play Raging Ravine, it means we get to swing with Raging Ravine next turn. I feel like we definitely play Raging Ravine just because Ravine plus Confidant is lethal. But this means that like we can't you know terminate a something and then like still activate Tassiger. So he has one more Snapcaster in hand, so we're essentially at two. All right, he is gonna roast. Okay. Yeah, so since he's roasting, um, we, we activate Tassiger, next turn play a land, one, two, and then we have enough, yeah, he's dead. Uh, so we activate Tasker and then on our next turn, we play this land, terminate Snapcaster, animate, and kill him. Um, but we might as well get a free card. I think I counted right. Four, five, six, seven, so two, and then five, yeah. Um, black, red. No, what am I doing? I'm, a, I'm adding double green. That's what I'm doing.
Okay. Land. Make sure I have red and green. Kill this dude. Animate. And game, boys. Okay, so 2-0, beat twin. Um, yeah, he was definitely just blue-red. Um, I don't know. So game one was interesting because uh, he just had kind of a draw without... Um, uh, I don't know, without any serum visions to, like, you know, pull him uh, to the point to where he has, like, a cohesive game plan. He's just kind of living off the top of his deck, living like the Jun guy. And then uh, game two, he kept a one-lander on the play, um, which I guess was fine. Like, he had uh, multiple remands, a lightning bolt, um, a spell snare, snapcaster. I think... I don't know. I don't really like keeping one landers without serum visions um, for the reason of like you know what happened in this game where he missed a land drop for a couple turns um, and then he just like wasn't really able to put anything cohesive together. Um, you know, just having those multiple snapcaster mages and trying to find some way to use them and uh, that just let our dark confidant take over the game. Um, I mean, if he if he doesn't miss land drops, the game goes a little bit differently. But if he doesn't miss land drops, he doesn't have all those answers in his hand. Um, so we might have been able to, you know, who knows how it was going to go, but, um, I think Tassiger really did a lot of work in that game, just, uh, being able to have a gigantic threat, um, that's really tough for our opponent to answer. He did remand it the first time, but then, like, you know, that only buys him time once it comes down again. Um, and that was that, I guess. All right, so back for round two.